Um, oh, if you could cook a meal for anyone in the world, who would it be? Anybody that wants to put their feet under the table. I don't care. You want to dine with me? I'm, I'm honored to have you there. Oh my God, it doesn't matter. You know, it could be the man that lives in the cardboard box on the river in New Brunswick, or it could be Obama. You want to sit down with me and break bread? Let's do it. I mean, because that's all that's important. That's really all that's important. I love it. Food is memory sensitive, you know, um, and it, you know, we all food is soul food. You know, whatever food you grew up with is food of your soul, because that's the stuff that has an emotion tied to it, you know, um, it's a memory tied to it, you know. The best times in most people's lives are directly related to food and communion. In it. It's um, barley, mm -hmm. mushrooms, onions, peppers, leeks, garlic, and parsley. That's it, basically. Uh, make sure you, let me see. Okay, so you need to get a roll going, okay? You need to get a roll, so you need to make sure that you pull this end in, pull this over. Tuck it and roll. You gotta get everything in there. Tuck it. Roll. See? Let's see you do another one. I grew up in Newark. And, you know, I felt very secure within my own, um, my own clan, so to speak. But I wasn't so sure about the rest of the world. The rest of the world could be pretty dangerous as a, as a young girl. There were some safety issues, but all in all, I had a good time. I went through everything that everybody else in every year of the city, inner city goes through. The way society is tilted affects every aspect of African people's lives. Um, it's the haves and have nots. Um, it's the lighter and the darker, it's the impoverished and the wealthy, I mean, you know, and it's, it just grows across the spectrum. So you cannot live in the society and not be affected by it in some kind of way. A better panther and not be aware of the breakfast movements. You couldn't be in the nation of Islam and not be aware of all the restaurants that, you know, the selling the fish, everything came back to food. You couldn't be, you couldn't go to a farm and not know about Cesar Chavez. You couldn't, these were just, everything revolved around food, the security of food, the preparation of food, the distribution of food, the justice of food, you know, it all comes together, it all comes, because that's something that everybody on the planet has to do, you gotta eat. In the Nation of Islam, the thing was, all women were supposed to become teachers and nurses. I decided to be a teacher. I decided to go to school and be a chef, um, which I did. Um, and this has been a growth opportunity for me um, in so many ways. I get more from my students than I could ever give them. Um, I love what I do. Good food, oh my God, mm, what's entailed in good food? The very best ingredients that you can get your hands on. Needs to be local. I don't, you know, it. We. it's not time for tomatoes, but you know, give me a August meal with great tomatoes, peaches something, beautiful herbs, you know, a great spring chicken. It doesn't have to have it. You can give me something with eggplant, you know, just, Oh my God, just give me the best ingredients. And that's it, I mean, that's love, that's it. That's, to me, that is all there is. What the fuck else is there? I'm sorry I have to say it like that. What else? What else is there? <laughs>